Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review. And I'm super late on this, but I feel like I've talked about it a lot, so I want to go ahead and just do the full review on it, and it's going to be Prada Loam Intense. Now, I've talked about this fragrance a lot because I obviously really, really like it. So what does this smell like? I'm not gonna go through the notes. I wanna bring it really back down to basics to what my basic nose can smell. What I can really smell in this fragrance is a nice powdery Irish fragrance with some tonka bean to sweeten it. It's a little creamy, but it's a really perfect level of sweetness to me. You guys know I don't like overly sweet fragrances. I don't feel like this is overly sweet. I think this would actually be the exact amount of sweetness that I would prefer in my sweet fragrances. Not too sweet, not too cloying, nothing like that. As you can probably tell, I really enjoy this fragrance. It's really easy on the nose. I can't imagine too many people disliking it. I will say this, the iris in here is pretty lipsticky. So it's a powdery yet lipsticky iris. I feel like that's the best way to describe it with that tonka bean to sweeten it up. Again, it's not like tonka bean in the front. No, tonka beans in the back. It's kind of what gives it that sweetness. It encompasses it in sweetness but you're gonna get iris first and foremost. You can probably pick up a little bit of amber, a little bit of the sandalwood. Sandalwood, you're really just gonna smell kind of a creamy tone to it. That's where the sandalwood's gonna come in. There's patchouli in this. I don't smell it though. So I wanna just go ahead and say that. I mean, I'm sure other noses can. Mine does not pick up on that. Again, iris, tonka bean, and then just the creaminess. There's leather in this, but it's the leather that you're gonna get from Valentino Womo Intense. So all it really does is give the fragrance kind of a darker tone. It's not that leather that you're gonna get in Tuscan leather or ombre leather or anything that's an actual leather fragrance. It's just a nice light leather that just darkens the fragrance a little. Basically, it's like an Irish fragrance that's sweetened and made perfectly for evenings. Performance. This one longevity wise, you can get at least eight hours. I personally get at least eight hours. However, projection, it's not a heavy projector. What I do notice on it though, is the sillage goes for quite some time. So as I walk through hallways, whoever's behind me can usually sense it and you know, they'll normally comment on it. So it's not gonna be what you call projection beast. However, again, the sillage on this is really where it shines. And this is something where you're gonna want more of a sillage fragrance than projection fragrance. Everything has its time. Like obviously it's not gonna be a club banger or anything like that. But when you want something that's gonna give you a really gorgeous sillage, to me, this has one of the most gorgeous sillage of pretty much any fragrance I own. In fact, I'm probably gonna do a list with fragrances that have the absolute best sillage. This will easily make it. I love the sillage on this. So performance, again, sillage is gonna be really good. Longevity is gonna be at least eight hours on my skin, but projection is gonna be a little bit softer. It's gonna sit a little closer to the skin. Who can wear this? I have to say it, this is a very unisex fragrance. Not super sweet, but sweet enough. I can't put an age or gender or anything on this. I can actually imagine anyone liking it. However, I know a lot of you do not enjoy an, a lipsticky iris. Avoid this fragrance if you don't enjoy lipsticky iris, because this is definitely something that I would say is lipsticky. And if you're a gentleman who does not like unisex fragrances, because I do have a friend that doesn't really enjoy fragrances if they smell too lipsticky or too unisex, this definitely, definitely has the unisex vibe. He got a full bottle of this actually as a present and was not able to wear it because he didn't enjoy that lipsticky vibe. Where can you wear this? Okay, to me, this is one of the best day night fragrances you could reach for. I enjoy it a lot. It has that sweetness. It has that darkness from the leather. It has that iris, which I feel like draws people in. Personally, that's what I have experienced. So this is the, one of the best date night fragrances, in my personal opinion. I think it's amazing. It's just really gorgeous. It draws people in. It's what you want on a date night. However, you could wear this to a lot of things. Uh, an evening out, kind of a nice upscale formal event. I think you could dress this up really well. You could wear it year round if it comes to date nights or something like a nicer event. But I think if you want to wear it all day, I would say fall and winter and potentially early spring, but probably as it gets hotter. I don't think it's cloying, but you probably aren't gonna wanna reach for this during the day. However, I think year round this works in the evening. It 
It's a really gorgeous day night fragrance. Again, if you are in a humid culture, comment down below. Let me know if this does work for you on a humid evening because I know you guys don't really get the luxuries that we get where it's a little breeze in the evening other than a very dry climate. Comment down below. Everyone's gonna read your comments. I promise you that much. That's what the comment section is for. Compliments. Even though this is not a projection beast, the sillage on this has gotten me a ton of compliments and I love it. This smells so good. I said it before, it draws you in. People are gonna wanna smell you because it smells really, really nice. I had the opportunity to purchase Prada Loam at a pretty good rate, but I passed up on it because it didn't do very much for me. I mean, I haven't smelled it probably in a year and the time that I did smell it, I was like, it's not that interesting. I smelled this at the same exact time and I pretty much immediately had to pick up a bottle because it's so good. It's so good. For me, this one, Valentino Womo Intense and Dior Homme Intense are all pretty tied. I know a lot of you guys swear by Dior Homme Intense, but the three of them are pretty tied to me. Some days though, I will say I prefer this and when I go on vacation, I typically take a travel atomizer of this one specifically, even though this is my, I think the biggest bottle out of the three, the other ones are 50 ml, so I could take the whole bottle, but I just take travel atomizer of this because it just, it does really well in any climate. I've taken it to Mexico, I've taken it to LA, I've taken it to Florida. Across the board, it's done very well. Price, the price fluctuates, but what I'm gonna do is try to link it down below. I think I got this 100 ml around the $60 mark. I saw a week later for below that, I saw like uh, 150 for I think it was like 70. But whatever I find, I'm gonna link down below. I try to get you guys the best prices. If you've worn this, comment down below, let us know what you think, the compliments you've gotten, maybe if you didn't get compliments, and your performance, because performance varies. I like to get kind of a nice mishmash of performance in the comment section so other people can read it. And obviously let us know if it worked on your skin because we want to know that too. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos. Subscribe obviously to the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.